Ooh, we're in. Hold your fire. So we've got... Are we using these things? So it looks like we're having to use both these. I'm running over the frog. So I'm not going to lie. This is the second time I've sat down to do the review of this game. And I'm kind of glad that I gave it a second shot over two evenings because, quite frankly, I would have told you not to waste your money on it after the first hour of playing House of the Dead Remake. However, after giving it a few more hours and a bit more of the gameplay, there are just some things what keep me coming back to the game, what I absolutely love. For starters, it's a massive nostalgia trip to anyone what used to play light gun games back in the 90s, early 2000s. Uh, House of the Dead was one of my favourite shooters alongside Time Crisis. Absolutely loved the House of the Dead series. I thought it was brilliant in the arcade. Uh, never got a home port apart from the PC and the Saturn. So we've never seen this game on any other console before and it's been some time, guys. So I was really looking forward to when Nintendo announced that they were releasing this on the Switch. And I was also looking forward to see how it was going to play on the, uh, the Joy-Cons. Uh, and hopefully we were going to try and get close to some sort of light gun experience, seeing as that we can't do that these days on modern TVs. So we'll start with a few of the pros. The graphics overhaul. I think the devs have done a real good job here. I think some of the uh, animations of the zombies when you shoot them is great. The body parts what fly off is what House of the Dead was all about, of course. Fantastic. The blood effects, great. A little disappointed in the music that's in the game. It doesn't sound like the original to me. The stages look great with the graphic overhaul. They've kept it completely true uh, to the original. Even down to the intro, how it goes through the stages of the intro. All the little twists and turns of the mansion that you go through, all the different paths you can take. Oh. It's all there. One thing that does come with the graphic overhaul unfortunately on the switch is sometimes it can get a little buggy it's almost as though the switch can't handle it so i would really looking forward to either a pc port of this or definitely a playstation overall really impressed with the graphics they can be better don't get me wrong but what i've got to remember is this is a nintendo switch now down to the controls and unfortunately this thing isn't the greatest on its own how i was trying to play in the first night using it almost like a little gun Shoot, I wanted that I wanted that experience. Um, it does work to some extent, but it does work better when you use two Joy-Cons with the left one or the right one, depending what handed you are, being able to sort of fine-tune the direction that you're pointing. So it does sort of give you that, that feel that you're moving around and you're actually controlling the cursor on the screen, which is great. I haven't tried it on, I think it's the Elite Pad. I haven't got one of those. I've seen a lot of people saying that it plays a lot better on one of those. So it'd be great to try and try it out. The controls at, at times can feel a little gimmicky. It does get annoying sometimes when the screen shifts quite quickly uh, from scene to scene as, you t as you're turning corners. You sometimes lose your crosshair because the screen moves that fast, which isn't ideal when you move into the next scene and you've got a zombie flying straight at the screen at you and you've got to try and... Re it almost feels like it's trying to re-collaborate the aim. What I would say is you can't knock them for trying with this. There are pros to it. There are some cons to it. Um, it... It sort of works, but you just feel like it needs a bit of fine tweaking in there just to make it perfect. I know the guys are actually going to be working on House of the Dead 2, so it'd be interesting to see how they managed to fine-tune those controls for that. The other real annoying thing is in the options, I can't find anywhere where you can actually collaborate the buttons to yourself to find a nice sort of way that you feel you want to use the buttons. It's all sort of a set thing, and you can only sort of change between the joy uh, how the joy con works between the two or the single pad overall like i said i'm glad i gave it a second go over time i grew to love it and there's something what wants to keep me getting back into the game and having another go at it i cannot wait really to get the guys around and we'll do two player on it which is where house of the dead games really take off and you've got that sort of arcade feel playing with your friends shooting blowing zombies across the screen so overall verdict <laughs> I'm going to have to sit on the fence with this one and go sort of 50 feet. It's between a 5 and a 6 out of 10. I would say anyone who loves the House of the Dead series and wants that classic nostalgia feel, which this definitely brings back, you would, you would buy this. Newcomers to it, eh, 
you will probably not be as interested and will probably put the game down due to also there being a slight lack of game modes. You've got the original arcade and you've got something called horde mode, which chucks loads of zombies on the screen at the same time, goes batshit crazy, which also has the problems with the slowdown because there's that much going off, but it is fun nevertheless. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give it a six. Uh, we're going to get loads more videos up of the playthrough on the channel. Uh, we're also going to get the guys around this week, going to do a two player shooter full playthrough that'd be great S see if we can do some speed runs on the bosses etc etc so for everything house of the dead remake guys you know what to do hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell to get notified when all new videos go live and i'll see you in the next one peace how come i can shoot everybody when you when, when it comes to like saving some dude lying on a dining table